Hi everyone, welcome back to iSolution channel. If you're trying to run powerful emulators like Dolphin Play, Emulator, or other apps that require JIT on iOS 18, but don't have a computer, then this video is exactly what you need. Today, I'll show you how to enable JIT on iOS 18 without a computer. For example, I have installed Pojav Launcher on iOS 18. With this Pojav Launcher you can see whether JIT is enabled or not. Ok, let's get started. Using a new app called Stick Debug, which is now available directly from the App Store on iPhone or iPad. Stick Debug is a powerful debugging tool that now includes a JIT activation feature for supported apps. You can download it right now from the App Store, no sideloading, no developer account, and no computer needed. First, open the App Store and search for Stick Debug's tab to download and install it like any normal app. Once it's installed, launch it and give the required permissions. Click Allow and give VPN configuration permission to enable JIT. After that, select the pairing file to enable JIT on iDevice. After the pairing file is selected, you can immediately run and select the emulator or application available to run it with JIT. Let's check whether JIT is enabled or not. As you can see, JIT has been enabled on Pojav Launcher. And how to get pairing file for Stick Debug. To get the pairing file, you can only create a pairing file using a computer. You can watch this video. You can only create a pairing file using a computer, but this only takes one time. So after that, you don't need a computer because you have saved the pairing file. Why is the app not detected in Stick Debug? To run an app with JIT you need to sideload the IPA files of the app. As you know JIT is not allowed for apps in the App Store. To enable JIT in an app, you need to sideload it using OutStore, Sideloady or another IPA files installer. For example, I have installed RetroArch in the App Store and it will not be detected in Stick Debug to enable JIT because the app in the App Store is not supported by JIT. In conclusion, you should get the pairing file to enable JIT with Stick Debug. After that, you don't need a computer to enable JIT on your iPhone or iPad next. And that's how you can enable JIT on iOS 18 without a computer using Stick Debug, right from your iPhone or iPad. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss more videos about your iDevice. See you on the next one.